I don't think they would be able to achieve it by either. But what is likely to happen is they're going to have a good crack at it, you know? And that, that's good enough. And if you don't have targets and, and timelines, obviously, you know, you won't uh, hit anything at all. So therefore, even if they do not achieve it in the full, at least uh, if they, they, you know, went for it, uh, then the momentum you know, will, will be raised, especially with four years only remaining. But uh, secondly, you know, whilst having a good crack at it, they should think of the of, of the other tracks of the, you know of, 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 of community building of integration. Uh, and, and we discuss, of course, uh, today so many other tracks. You know, the mainly what could be described as the bottom up and the functional, you know, approach uh, to the integrative uh, efforts uh, overall, not just economic. And I think there are lots of possibilities there in terms of the strength of business companies, you know, in terms of the strength of, of information technology and using that to reach the people and especially younger people who use such technology more extensively. And in terms of education, you know, it was talked about. Forget about education ministries and, 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 and you know, create a university links independent of them. And, you know, there are many ways it can be done. And of course, you know, research organizations, you know, such as Chari, which is, of course, uh, leading the pack. There is no pack yet in, in respect of research, but I think it's, it's, it's an excellent uh, initiative. And as you mentioned earlier during the talk, um, you mentioned a lot about outreach. Is it a primary concern in ASEAN? Yes, I think outreach in the sense that, you know, if more people were aware and understood uh, what uh, ASEAN is about and what its targets and objectives are in terms of the three pillars of uh, community building, it, it, it will more likely happen, you know, uh, they would understand it more. At the same time, a constituency would be built uh, in various ASEAN countries that uh, would be necessary you know, for the implementation and the buy-in. Uh, of, of various ASEAN uh, objectives and, and, and uh, it's important uh, to reach this constituency. So in your opinion, um, what does it take exactly to create an ASEAN community? I, I, I think uh, although there was uh, some uh, scepticism about a, a, a top-down approach, uh, without the top-down approach, uh, there will not be an ASEAN community. We need it. But without a bottom-up uh, approach, it will not be realized to the full. Yeah, you see? Okay. So you need leadership. At the same time, you need support. And so so it's, it's both, uh, both approaches would be needed to do so. And, and it is good that governments are committed. It would be better if they committed more. You know, more committed and, and move forward faster, uh, obviously. But at least they are, they have commitment. Now what we discuss is what about the others? Are they in play? You know, are they, do they understand uh, that they are part of a larger community? They, they must be made to understand that there is this larger community looming, evolving. And, and what are the, and, and, and you know, it would work if there was that dynamism.